Hey, grade sixes. We're well into our book, The One and Only Ivan, and uh, I think we've all been enjoying the adventures of Ivan so far, but we're starting to see that Ivan isn't as happy as he once was. He's starting to realize that there's another life he could possibly live. There's something else he could do, and he's dreaming about that. And In fact, he's drawing a picture of what he thinks uh, a zoo or a good zoo uh, would be like for him. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of, of history on, on Ivan here. And uh, there is Ivan uh, behind a cage. And this is the actual mall uh, at Exit 8 um, that was there. It's called the B&I. It was a general shopping place, sort of a family-friendly place with a circus theme that you would go to buy your school supplies or things like that. And in the very top, you can see there is Ivan and uh, that was sort of their their selling point to to have Ivan there it was owned by the Irwin family and it wasn't until about 1987 that people started to realize that that Ivan wasn't very happy this is actually a picture of Ivan in the enclosure at the mall and so you can see the glass at the front and the glass at the side and the concrete basically all all around and behind so this is Ivan in his enclosure and where he started to to maybe think about uh, another location and here's sort of the artist concept of Ivan uh, drawing his pictures of the zoo and basically presenting his pictures to Ruby the elephant and what I want to know is what would the ideal zoo enclosure be like for one of these animals? Now, you can choose a gorilla, you can choose something for Ivan, you can choose uh, something for Stella or Ruby as an elephant. Uh, other things we've read about are, are giraffes, or you can make an enclosure for the seal. Remember the seal who ended up choking on the money? So any of the animals, maybe a dog, uh, like Bob in this story or choose another animal that's fine but I want you to come up with an ideal zoo enclosure for one of these animals and you can present it in any way you want uh, you can present it as a, a Google SketchUp you can present it as a, a bulletin board a poster you can present it as a, a slide screen you can present a, a diorama or a, a 3d model but basically your job this week is to find out do some research on a certain animal to discover what it needs in order to survive and what would make it happy what is going to make it safe and then create that environment so by Friday this week, you're going to have an enclosure made that you can present to the class, uh, sharing with the class uh, what that perfect environment is for your animal. And then when we actually find out what Ivan's was like, maybe we can, uh, we can compare it with what you thought uh, the enclosure should be. So enjoy creating. This is our... our project-based project for Ivan this week. So enjoy putting it together and we'll see how it comes out. And I look forward to seeing your projects on Friday. Have a good week.